quarterback. Um, so no Jason today because he's a lazy bum. <laughs> but no, no, back. no bald eagle today. Um, so let me make sure everything is good on my end, which it is awesome. And not like I really need another speaker because he's not here. But um, so a couple things going on. Um, Taya Valkyrie making her debut last night on AEW um and going after Jay Cargill. Um, of course, I'm sitting there going, like, who the fuck is this person? <laughs> um, apparently John Morrison's wife. Who knew? <laughs> um, and then the Bellas leaving WWE to start their new chapter as the Garcias. <laughs> yeah, and both are very interesting to me. Ty Valkyrie returning into AEW or you know, returning to wrestling, but returning into wrestling well, by going. John, I think John went there. Well, John was there for a very short time. Like he was there for like a month, and they. I did... think she'll have a better push than John because that woman's roster needs somebody to beat Jay Cargo. Very much so, but the issue, the question, the biggest question I have is twofold. One, um, yes, they need somebody to beat Jay Cargo, but what about uh, her future? Like, how long do you think? I mean, because honestly, I could see her being a good heel to go against Britt Baker in the long run. Uh, Ty Valkyrie is a very good heel. She's got a lot of uh, good charisma and good potential. She was great in WWE. Uh, she's been great in the independence over the years. So, you know, let's, I'm, I'm very curious, but the, in other interesting thing to kind of bring up with this is like we said, she's uh Morrison squeeze. Where's John Morrison? What is he doing? Or like, is this a signal that he might be coming back? Yeah. Uh because which could be an interesting tag team duo if they do decide to bring him back. Yeah. And possibly do it with other couples. So um so so yeah, that's our first conversation with Ty Valkyrie coming in. Um, Bella's that's going to be another interesting thing to see. What do they do? Where do they go? Do they decide to walk away from wrestling altogether? Because here's the other thing. Well, then why would they just go by the Garcias? Because their names are not Garcia. Isn't I thought that was their that's their original that's their uh maiden names. Well, uh, wrong. That's the wrong fucking Bella. God damn. (laughs) I thought I thought. Last names? I thought that's their real last names. You didn't give me much to work with here. Yeah, okay, they're Garcia's. Yeah. So I think maybe they just follow to go to see Daniel Bryan and AEW. I mean, they could, but I, I don't know. Like, I'm I'm kind of... I mean, the question I have is, do they stick with wrestling and go to AEW, or do they completely do something different? Because they are reality TV stars, quote-unquote, uh, they did total total divas and total bellas. So do they find a network and try to get themselves on their own reality show? Uh-huh. You know that that's another very interesting question. Uh, you know, are they leaving wrestling or are they going to come back in an AEW? Yeah, very um, interesting thought. Some some yeah stuff to think about. So on top of that, uh, we have six new members today. Hey, um, awesome. Stephanie Lowe, who is currently our designer for the t-shirts. Awesome. She's working on the shirts now. Um, Corey Patterson, John Backner, uh, Callista Barnhart, Tristan Augustin, and then Tommy Franey. So if I butchered your names, I apologize. <laughs> um, but welcome to the Facebook group. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. That'd be nice. Um, but the other big thing kind of is Vince McMahon apparently pushing for sports betting. This is very interesting and I've it's been stupid. listening I've been listening to some uh it's stupid commentary on this. It's stupid. Oh, it's it's stupid all right, but um so the idea and he's doing this in Indiana, Michigan and Minnesota currently. Uh trying to get it past where uh people can then bet on a predetermined sport. And the thing about this is that it's going to get very interesting is how big does the circle of trust have to be? Because with with McMahon decides to, you know, make another coup and put himself back in top position in WWE running creative and stuff like that. One, we have an issue with McMahon always changing his mind. Like, if you've ever read any of the old rumors of Raw and SmackDown, things could be changed up to the very last minute of 
taping or uh, live broadcast on Raw and SmackDown uh, because Vince decided, you know, just got a whim and changed his mind on things. Uh, so one, that's going to be a big issue. But two, as I said, the circle of trust, when you have, when, when they figure out finishes, they're not figuring out finishes more than a month or two in advance, to, you know, leading up to certain big shows. They are calling for this, and this is what I've been reading in the reports. They are calling for six months, uh, the, the decisions for these shows, six months in advance, in the can, given to the sports betting places so that they can be, um, you know, the, the odds and the wagers and stuff can come in on this kind of stuff. So what happens in a wrestling world where, we have, you know, like, I, I don't know of anybody currently, but we have the old Hulk Hogan style. That doesn't work for me, brother. You know, if they tell a guy the day of, even hours before he's supposed to lose a belt, you know, hey, you're going to lose on this night to this person. And that guy's like, nope, I'm not doing it. Like, or if they tell the wrestler in advance, what happens if the wrestler doesn't like the finish? And says, you know what? I'm going to put it out there and ruin this whole thing for everybody. There is a very big possibility of that. If somebody doesn't like how they're being, you know, who they're who they're losing to or what they're doing, there there's so many ways this could go wrong. So, uh, and Vince had to put up with in the '90s. He had to put up with guys like Shawn Michaels. Uh, you know, in the early '90s, he had to put up with Hogan and his creative control. And then Shawn Michaels in the late '90s, where Shawn just decided on a whim he didn't want to lose to somebody and not that there's as many divas as there used to be in in the wrestling business now but you know there who knows what could change if this betting thing goes through so let us know in in the comments your thoughts your ideas why what do you think man because i i so i've done research because i'm not paying much attention to this um so several things play into being a sports being allowed to sports bet um, the Massachusetts Gaming Commission has um, has pointed out that the WWE is not an approved sports league. Okay. Because, for one, the literal name of it is entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Nowhere yeah. in it does it say world wrestling sports or sports wrestling. It's, yeah. It's not – I mean, they're athletes, don't get me wrong, but it's not – the brand is not defined as a sport. Yeah. Which is a big thing. Um, considering you mentioned Michigan, Minnesota, and Co- what was it? Indiana, Indiana, Colorado state statute forbids wagers on events with fixed or predicted outcomes or purely by chance. So basing that off of that, I don't think these states are going to do it because I think they're worried that they're just going to lose money. I very well, because a lot of these states have set up sports betting to where they profit off of, you know, the, the losses of people, but they're putting that money towards things in their state, like infrastructure, school buildings, mm-hmm. um, different other organizations or departments inside their state. So um, putting that kind of stuff in where they lose money is not going to help a state. Yeah. Um, now, the one thing that I found interesting with the Colorado uh, statute, it says now some states do allow betting on award shows. Yes. Like the Oscars. Now, the biggest difference is that happens once a year. Mm-hmm. Whereas this is every Tuesday and Friday or Monday and Friday. Well, and, and pay-per-view. What I what I think they're going for specifically is pay-per-view events only is from what I am understanding because you can't really bet on the winners and losers of Raw and SmackDown right now uh because it's just too up in the air. But it would be major pay-per-view events uh WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, Royal Rumble, that kind of a thing. So that's what I am understanding that they're going for right now. And the question I also ask is why Indiana, Michigan, and Minnesota, like are their uh, gambling laws uh, or their 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 statutes more favorable to wrestling uh, to wrestling betting or or whatnot? Like I I'm not sure. But this also, from what I am understanding, like Vince is trying to get a lot of things changed, not just for wrestling, but. They're talking about like uh, an art. Sorry, um, <laughs> that's a lot of words. There's <laughs> a lot of words. In All right. Okay, that's not what I want. Uh... But like, from what I understand, like 
if this changes, if WWE is successful with this, this opens the door to, like you said, the Oscar betting is one thing, but they're opening the door to betting on television shows like, uh, the like deaths in television show, like think of a Game of Thrones. If this had been around when Game of Thrones was still running, you could have and, and Vince had gotten this pulled through a long time ago. You could have bet on who was the next person to die in Game of Thrones. That's what ultimately this is leading to, from what I am reading and understanding. I, I don't think that's that would that's not what I don't think that did. Well, again, Vince is opening the door, but others would jump in. Is what I is more what I'm looking at and what I've been. No, hearing. I don't think so because Vince is just nuts. Well, Vince is nuts, but I. I if Vince opens the door, you never know. And some people couldn't see this as a potential. Uh, the way I think of it, like people could, like Hollywood could see this as a potential deal where they could write a series based on betting, where you know it's now, you know, the whole the whole thing of it is there's no known idea who's going to die off next, so there it's just like the wagers are coming in and then, you know, they kind of, I don't know. It's, I understand what WWE, the, the storylines have to be fixed to six months in advance. So I'm assuming for a writing deal for a television show, it would be the same thing, but still, you know, they write a story based on, you know, or they write a TV show based on a betting scenario where people are betting on who's going to live, who's going to die, who's, you know, what different aspects to the TV show. So that's, Again, that is, from what I understand, something that's a, a possible further outcome of if it's so. Looking at Indiana's sports betting rules here, um, ten in part of this is uh, the good cause, as set forth in IC four dash thirty four nine dash four, includes but is not limited to information provided by sports governing body that indicates a credible threat to the integrity of sports wa- wagering that is beyond the control of the sports governing body to preemptively rem- remedy or mitigate a lot of words that's a lot of words so basically uh and then we also have independent integrity monitoring provider means an independent individual or entity approved by the executive director or the executive director's des- designee to receive reports of unusual betting it, it's just it, i don't see where they can do this yeah um i mean there's a lot and that's kind of a big thing. Sorry. Um, the American Gaming Association, uh, which controls both commercial and tribal operators, mm-hmm. both regulators and operators must have confidence in the integrity of the competition. Okay, that is going to be their key big indicator because if they do, if you do not trust, because let's think back when Lana and Rusev had their feud with uh, Bobby Lashley. You know, Lana was still married to Rusev and was still posting pictures of themselves at beaches and everything yeah. else, which made no sense. You now have to have your athletes sign a non-disclosure agreement that is fucking sturdy enough to stand up in court. Yeah, exactly. Um, and from what I've read, Michigan has not received any requests from WWE. Really? Because I heard it was not a thing. And this was written on Friday last week. Interesting. Wow. Um, Michigan only accepts requests from gambling operators or platforms, and WWE hasn't put in a request for it. Interesting. Maybe I miss Maybe I mistook what the state I had heard, but I could have sworn it was Michigan, Indiana, and Minnesota were the three they were after. But Michigan is one of them. But Michigan has said that they have not received the request yet to be okay. given that right. Okay. Um, Interesting. So th- this whole situation with, um, because the other thing is, I mean, they are sponsored by DraftKings. Yeah. But my thing is, I don't see it going through. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm. I don't see it going through either. But the other aspect to it is, I. Uh, what'd you find? So, after the commission receives a complete, this is Indiana's gambling laws. Um, completed application, application fee, and for a vendor, uh, or sports wagering service provider applicant, which would be ergo the WWE, um shall obtain the application's fingerprints applicants fingerprints at a time and place directed by the executive director. Okay. If the application or a criminal history check completed by an enforcement agent or both reveals that the applicant one has not been convicted of a felony under Indiana law, the laws of any other state or the laws of the United States or two meets the statu- statutory criteria set forth in IC 4-38. 
hasn't Vince been tried for felony? He's been tried but never convicted. That was the um that was the um steroid trials. He was tried, but he was exonerated. So therefore he has no legal history in with the allegations that he has against him from the women. They are all allegations. They have never been taken to court due to they've most of the women signed non non disclosure agreements. And I, I think doing so, doing this doing this is interesting um because hold on so from zero news who's been wonderful with some of our <laughs> research um uh yeah it's not where that was is it in i don't know but he had mentioned that they're talking about going to um here it is so hearing a few rumors that wwe are discussing brand specific pay-per-views again Okay. Woo. Interesting. Um, which now plays into the sports betting angle. Yeah. Um, the draft will reset everything. Yeah. Uh, separate titles for each brand. Why? Some titles may be retired and rebranded. Wonderful. Of course. And a set of tag belts and world title and a woman's title for each brand. Yeah. Now, if he wants to do it based on pay-per-view, that is a move he can do right there alone. Yeah. But my problem is he's trying to sell the company. Yeah, well... And putting three states... And this would be a legal battle. Yeah. It would be a long, drawn-out process that won't see much resolve. And then that alone, just those three court battles, would probably put the value of the company in the tank. Well, and but here's the other thing to it. And this is something else that has been discussed on several different podcasts and news websites, is are they doing this as... We have a potential for revenue, so the in potential investors look at this as you know, like whether they go through with it or not, or whether it actually comes to fruition or not. Um, will they actually like could they just use this to turn to the Saudis or to Comcast or to whoever and be like, hey, you know, this is a potential source of revenue if you want to, you know, pursue this, like you know, we're pursuing this. If it goes through, it's great, mm -hmm. if it doesn't. We are, um, you know, but it's at least it's something to just kind of show that there's a potential for revenue. And I don't know. I, I And the thing is, I don't think there is. And and here's my reason why is because if you are a true honest to God wrestling fan, even with the six month out planning, you know how to follow the storyline. Yeah. You could easily rip off WWE like that. I mean, it is true. Like, I mean, it, now again, let's just use WrestleMania for example. Let's use Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. Now, you and Jason are both saying that you don't think Cody will probably win the belt at Mania. I'm saying different. So, you know, but there again, there's a, a back and forth opinion, a varied opinion on that. But let's just say Cody does, like, you know, if it follows my theory, let's just say it follows your theory that Roman retains the belt. Um, if Roman retains the belt, and again, you, you've you been following the storyline, you know what's going on, like you said, perfect opportunity to take WWE for everything and, you know, make an enormous bet on it. And if it's locked in the can six months ahead of time, they can't change that. So, you know, yeah, I, I don't see it going down, but it is an interesting strategy, yeah, interesting I, move for I, WWE to make. I don't, I don't this. see any of those states legalizing because based off of what Massachusetts has said, it's been, hey, they are not a sports brand. Yeah. Um, they are strictly entertainment. Yeah. And that's the way the brand has been made since the 90s and before that with WCW and the territories. I mean, that's just the way it's always been. It's entertainment. Yeah. Well, and the territories would be in, in like, it'd be interesting in the territories that they had ever brought this up. But there's one issue with that, and that's kayfabe, because kayfabe actually, and for those who might not be a fanatic of wrestling, kayfabe was something that they kept where it was strictly a, you know, do not talk about this behind, you know, without, you know, around normal human beings. Like, this is a legit fight. That's how we we're presenting it. That's what they called kayfabe back in the day. So if for some reason sports betting was allowed back in those days, 
uh, they would have to break kayfabe to tell the sports people what was going on. So the sports betting would never have existed back then. But, mm-hmm. you know, now that it's it's out there in the world, hey, it's predetermined, yada, yada. I, I, for the fact that it's predetermined makes it almost even more impossible to to pass, to pass this. So, and I, I think that's exactly what we're running into is that I, the states know that it's predetermined. Yeah, they're not stupid, and maybe they went off of um, based on viewership of the last year or so where their most viewerships come from. Yeah, which is interesting because a lot of states have their own indie wrestling venues and they have people that are interested in wrestling, but it's not as much as it used to be. Yeah. Um which is the big difference from what has been going on, you know, with, you know, back in the eighties and nineties, you know, people were on the Hulk Hogan train, the Randy Savage train. That's what brought Rick people Flair. in. Yeah. Rick Flair. And now that those guys are gone, they don't have that draw anymore. And I, I, and I think still to this day, the thing that has killed the WWE in this aspect at any wrestling company was the pandemic. Yeah. No, I'm very because much Because so. both shows saw a massive dip in viewership and they lost interest because there wasn't that great interaction with the fans anymore. And people kind of grew, try to find something else during the pandemic to watch. And they yeah. found something more entertaining, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. I'm well, just saying. That and I think WWE lost, just like you said, there was a Hulk Hogan, there was a Ric Flair, there was, you know, in the 90s, late 90s, Stone Cold, there was The Rock. There was John Cena, yeah, in the the two thousand. And I think the switch from the Attitude Era to the PG also killed it. Yeah, very much so. But I feel like the the issue is that John Cena was the last major star the WWE made, and they have like Roman Reigns is a star. Don't get me wrong, but he's still not on the level of a John Cena, and they haven't made a level of John Cena star like that since John Cena. Like that's. He was yeah, the you last. Don't, you don't you don't tune into shows now and hear "Let's Go Roman." Roman sucks. Yeah, now, when you watch a Cena match, you always inevitably hear "Let's Go Cena." Cena sucks. Yes. I mean, it, it happens. You wow. know, Roman has the one thing; it's the acknowledged thing, and that and, and it's nothing against him. It's just a great gimmick that he's got. But it, it's there's so much indications here on what he's trying to do, and I think what's going to happen is Vince is going to run the value down of his company with this court battle. If he pursues, if he pursues, which again, these are all rumors. Um, but everything in my opinion is just not looking highly on this. I think the states are going like, well, consider you're not a sport. Yeah. Um, and that's that's the key indicator. I mean, yes, they perform they they're athletic. Oh, yeah. But when you when you talk about wrestlers, you don't say, Oh, did you see that? Like you, you watch it for the entertainment, and then on top of that, you talk about their performance. Yeah. You don't talk about, you know, the fight. You talk about how they performed based on their moves, their botches, their their actions in the ring, and when they're selling a gimmick. Yeah. Their performances. Yeah. They're not sport. Yeah. And the other thing you just brought with me and brought up to my mind I didn't is... I anything with you. Huh? I didn't bring anything with you. <laughs> you showed up. <laughs> The, the thing you just brought to my mind is that Vince killed his opportunity to make sports betting legal by being the one to out his own business as fake. Because the the reason I say this is he yeah. had a in, Jer- in New Jersey, they went to court because he had to pay taxes like every other sports league. And he went into New Jersey and, and in a publicized uh, court case, uh, said in front of the public that we are not sports, we are entertainment. Uh, and this was what I think in the early nineties, like or late eighties, early nineties. And he outed the the business as fake, and boom! Now he's trying to go in there. Oh, we're legit, we're real. No, you outed well, your own then, company and outed your own business. And the funny thing is, you know, we we've you know, Jason is a big fan of Jericho's, <laughs> and this is this. Is, <laughs> um this is where jericho's also killing yeah the sports end because it's not his faction is now based on entertainment yeah exactly it's not the wrestler anymore it's the entertainment aspect no so having that also 
But you also don't see AEW asking for sports betting because they know they can't do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, not as of yet. And that was going to be the other thing. I don't think Tony Khan's that stupid. Well, well Tony Khan. So, I mean, I, I, my whole thing is again, you know, Pandora's box. It like, should Vince try to open this door and succeed in opening it? Because he, Vince is only per, going after sports betting for WWE. He is not opening the door. Like, it's not a, card blanche for every other company to get sports betting each company would have to do it on their own terms well yeah so, but the, the issue that we're running into is that you know and i, I said this in our group chat that we have yeah I, you know i like their ten thousand dollar challenge mm-hmm. because you don't know how many finishes they're gonna hit how many you know different moves are gonna hit what's gonna happen in the event you don't know yeah whereas to, to try to call a winner and lose exactly but I think the reason that Vince is trying to get to the sports betting is because I think the money that is being given out from DraftKings obviously has to come from WWE. Yeah. There has to be a pocket there. Oh, yeah. And I think people have gotten more lucky with those picks. I don't know. Yeah. I'm guessing. Um, Because, you know, NASCAR does it. Um baseball does it but also they also have their own sports bets yeah but they also have so like fox sports does the the ten thousand dollar challenge with good boyer for sitting there for nascars on sundays Mm -hmm. and again you can pick you can pick a winner of the race you can bet on that yeah but nascar gives you oh who's leading after this amount of laps who's who's um how many no not accidents they wouldn't do that but like who huh. wins stage two or stage one, you know, those kinds of things. Yeah. I think WWE and AEW should stick with that aspect considering they're somehow both sponsored by DraftKings. Yeah. I don't know how that works. I don't even, well, I mean, I think DraftKings is the, like there's only, how many are there? There's FanDuel, there's DraftKings. So you can have DraftKings, FanDuel, Caesar Sportsbook. Um, I forget the others. There's others, but those three are the big ones. And maybe the other ones just don't want to recognize wrestling. And DraftKings is the only one that will. And like, again, both companies have openly said that they're fake. Yeah. And Jericho didn't up and right say it. He just calls himself entertainers. Yeah. Yeah. So by ergo airing out that carpet of hey, we're entertainers. Hey, look, we're not athletes. We're just here to perform yep. each week. So I and then you know. McMahon going, hey, you know, we're not actually like a sports thing, so you can't give us the sports rate. Yeah. But you can give us the entertainment rate because we're fake. Yeah, exactly. And to any little kid listening to this, don't look into that. Um, <laughs> Roman's supposed to be there, I promise. Um, And the other thing about um, like sports betting in general is there's a lot of factors that go into who wins and who loses any normal game football racing baseball because it's a team effort it's not one guy versus one guy in a like even if it were like now ufc is a little different because again ufc is legit fighting there is there yeah, no that's there not... maybe again you know there there's always been and uh always been a rumors that maybe one or two of the fights have been fixed over the years due to trying to hype rivalries and stuff like that but overall 99 percent of usc is on the up and up and legit. you know each sport has had their fair share of people throwing games yeah or fixing fights but or and this whatever. is where wwe sits they, they sit all- right in the middle yeah because people are supposed to throw matches they interfere with their own matches yeah and, just, and again if let's and you think about mcmahon changing his mind at the last minute i mean when you look at when uh batista and god who was it was it cena at the world Rumble? yeah and when mcmahon, and McMahon blew out came his, out yeah and and when he blew out his quads but <laughs> he then made a new match yeah to figure out the winner yep and, and, and what that, that's not on the sports bet. Yeah. That's not in the book. Because and, you have to send the sports book ahead of time, or the sports book is supposed to create all the numbers. You have to now pay statisticians to watch WWE who may not like it and come up with some really stupid shit. <laughs> well, so. and the fact that, and again, there's there's another level, like even in a predetermined sport, there's another level of unpredictability. That was that Cena Batista match. While rare is not was not supposed to happen. They weren't supposed to go over at the same time. It was supposed to be, I, was it supposed to be Batista winning that one? I or, think so. Yeah, 
and and that, that that that's the whole thing. Like, you know, there's over unders in sports. There's yeah. um who will win, like the underline. So imagine if sports books were around and you have Batista winning in the in in the money line, and then all of a sudden it's a draw. You don't <laughs> win the money. Yeah, it's gone. So there's so many little logistic things that I don't think Vince is looking at when he's trying to do this. Yeah, he's looking. And at the I don't money. think I don't think he's also looking at how sports betting has become a great revenue for states to use in their infrastructure, their school buildings. Um, because in Maryland, where we are, sports books have been shifted into putting money into the board of education. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, and of course we haven't got a pay raise, but you know, but you know, it's, it's, that's where the money's going for Maryland, where other sports, where other states have their money going from that. I don't know. Yeah. But most places to make it feasible, to make it easier on them to, you know, tax that stuff is to put it towards something in their state. Yeah. So ergo like Michigan with Flint getting clean water. Yeah. 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 So there, there are certain aspects, but again, this is a big question that I don't think we'll get a resolve, but we'll see what happens. I mean, I, I'm interested to see what happens. Like you said, if Vince decides to try to go for the long for long court battle and see, yeah, you know, it'll be stupid, but it'll definitely create a lot of news. Um, it will create a lot of news for all the bad reasons. And yeah. I think that's when he'll realize a lot of his stars will probably jump ship. Well, there's that and also selling to Saudi Arabia, but you know, if that is the other, and that's the other thing is just, you know, to end the discussion on this, you know, let's just, cause again, right now with them trying to sell the company, a lot of the major players that were in the hunt for WWE have kind of backed off. Comcast has backed off. Um, uh, why can't I think of the other? There, there's a I lot. Of, NBC was on that. Yeah, NBC is back. Well, NBC Comcast is the same. Disney is also backed off. Disney's they backed off. Talks about it, but I and with Disney though, that's different because Bob Iger is trying to step back from buying all this shit. Yeah. Um, Bob has admitted that they, the former CEO, is a moron. Yeah. Um, but that's neither here nor there. That's a different conversation. But but, but the fact that um, let's just say you know it, it and with Vince's asking price of nine billion. There's only really one group that looks like they can buy it anyways, and that's the Saudis. So somebody brought up an interesting point. Like, let's just say this like they buy it before this whole thing ever has a chance to go through the system. What is the Saudi like you know, the Saudis have you know billions and billions of dollars worth of stuff going on in their countries? What's their uh gambling infrastructure like? Could we I don't think they have gambling in Saudi Arabia? Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, again, I don't know for a fact. I don't know. Where... Uh, I think that's not a good thing in their country because they don't need gambling. They have um, oil. Well, they have oil, but I mean, uh, again, if they do, what like could they capitalize on this as part of their own? Thing? Yeah. So no. Form... Um, in sports betting, legal is this mm, no. No, all forms of gambling are illegal in the devoutly Islamic country. So that would be Saudi Arabia. So then, so why is another, another interesting point? Why is Vince pursuing this if Saudi is going to be the major player in this? Another, there's so many because questions. Because Vince is senile, he doesn't know what to do with himself anymore because he's at home bored. Yeah, pretty much. He's but... like, I have a great idea for a show. <laughs> Bring back IRS and we'll talk about selling the company. Yeah, I don't know. It's. But yes, to be continued, ladies and gentlemen, we will find out as more breaks about this. And you I don't all... think anything will come of it, to be honest. I think this is just a stick in the mud kind of thing at this point. So, well, but hey, we'll see what happens. We will find out. Um, but again, please join our Facebook group, uh, like, subscribe. The next thing we're going to be working on is the gimmicks. Um, so keep posting your suggestions on the group about worst gimmicks. Uh, I've got my list, and I didn't put one star on there like most people thought I would. Because <laughs> he knows one gimmick that I actually love to death. <laughs> and it's not on my list. Yep. <laughs> um, so, um, but yeah, stay tuned. We'll be on Facebook. Uh, tomorrow, we're going out to uh, Independent Wrestling out in West Virginia. And from what I've heard, the show is, at least the front row, is almost completely sold out. Um, from what um, from what Jason told me, so yep. that's a good thing. 
Um, which means I get bread. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, please give us a like, subscribe, hit the like button or the bell icon, and we'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. Peace, everyone. <laughs>